of all, I want to thank you all for the seasons that you have given us with the extraordinarily talent that you have. I am such a fan and I'm so sad and at the same time to see you all go because I love the show. Um, for Mrs. Uh, Jasmine, I just have a quick question for you. When it comes to, I did hear you say that you channeled a lot of your um, real life into uh, your character. Um, and I would like to know, like for, as, an, as a great actress, what advice would you give women like yourself who just says, you know what, if you really want this, you want to do this, you want to channel that inside like I did. What advice would you give them to tap into that, you know, instead of like going inward, you took it out and you you blazed it. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I would say to be clear about what story you want to convey with your gift, because everybody's gift is different. So be clear about what you've been through in your life, like take the time to really self reflect and get to know your own self. Because when you step into these characters and you're charged with the responsibility to make them human and make them real and make them relatable, you have to know your own life, your own emotional uh, traumas and, and what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what have you been through? Otherwise, you're not going to be able to look at this character and say, okay, so like for instance with Dr. Christy Johnson, She's in a love triangle. How does this make me, how does this make me feel? Well, if you've not analyzed your own love life, you're not going to be able to pull real, um, real tools to apply to the character. So that's what I would say, really get in tune with yourself and it takes your art to the maximum level. Love. And um, for Mr. Robinson, he, mm -hmm. and I want to, you know what? This show took so many turns. It was, I fell in love with the, the sinners and then I fell in love with the saints and then the saints became the sinners. And it was like, you. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but that's you. That's really what happened. And for yourself, you were kind of like innocent, but at the same time, it's like, even though you were in a love triangle, it was like you became a, a saint in a sense. Um, really? How do you feel? <laughs> when they I, beat I, up Miles, I, I was like, no. I always thought I was the most hated dude because I was trying to play two ladies. Um, yeah, I think I think people identify with Miles because he was a guy that kind of flies by the seat of his pants. He reacts and then he worries about the consequences afterwards. He kind of lives. Uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. And I think people kind of identified with that. Um, and at the same time, it, it would it would uh, it would piss them off because he had really no regard for the damage he may be doing to his partners, which which is art imitating life, I think, for a lot of us. And we see that a lot in the real world. So uh, it was fun to play in between. Uh, I'm glad it ain't me. But uh, but yeah, I see how you would say that. I'm glad that you interpreted him as being a saint who's just having a rough way and trying to figure it out. Um, so yeah, he's a, he's a layered guy, I think. Right. And um, I have one quick question. Like everyone, every character was so different. Even the villains were different from the next villain. I see spinoffs. Mm. I could see. <laughs> mm. I don't know if you guys see. I see spinoffs. Christy, uh, what you think, Jasmine? Ja spin off of Jazz? I see that. Oh, okay. huh? Dr. Christy, you see Dr. Christy spinning off. Dr. Yes. Christy Chronicles. Hey. Hey. Yeah. We come see you at the hospital. Huh? We come see you at the hospital. Come see me at the hospital. I, I will hook you up. <laughs> I, I definitely see the stories continuing. I, I, we're ending on a high. We're not in the way. What I will say, we are going to leave you like we leave you every season, wanting yep. more. It, it, nothing is tucked away and tied up and put away. Everything is left wide open. So yep. the possibilities truly are endless. And I'm really prayerful that our fans and even media outlets such as yourself um, really get the word out even more and like start asking that question to that so that it may reach the ears and the attention of networks or, or people who are in positions to keep the show going for them mm -hmm. to say, oh, sex and sinners. Let's go see what we can do over there. I, I'm really prayerful that that happens. 
I can see it definitely, definitely. But I'm, I'm like I said, I'm extra proud to even um, have uh, watched the show. But sad to see it go because each, yeah. like I said, each character is so different, so very yep. different. Don't lift your hands, give God the praise. For decades, I rested knowing that this Ray Ray from Athens never collided with the world that I built. That he became what he became was not my intention. Out of respect for my elders, I can't just tell you whatever happens next is on you. Everybody let me down. God, let me down. Saints and Sinners, the final season premieres April 3rd. Catch up on every episode on the Brown Sugar app. Thank mm-hmm. you.